Hey, and welcome to 50 States, 50 Dishes. This week we're heading to the first state to give women the right to vote, Wyoming, to make ourselves a milk can stew. Granted, it's going to be in a crock pot because I don't have a milk can, but one of the traditional ways to prepare food in Wyoming is it would actually take a 10-gallon milk can, fill it with beer and meat and vegetables, and then just leave it on a fire, like an open fire, for five hours while they went off and did work and everything. And that sounds kind of like a crock pot recipe to me, so that's what we're going to be making this week for the state of Wyoming. So as always, here's all of the ingredients you're going to need to make our beer and beef pot roast for the state of Wyoming. As you'll see, a lot of those uh, ingredients are actually similar to what we utilized for clam chowder last week, so don't say I didn't do you any favors. So first things first, you're going to want to wash all of your vegetables. Go ahead and get those peeled. I cut out the boring parts for you there. Uh, and get them cubed up. They don't have to be really small cubes, but you definitely don't want them to be like big, like one inch cubes or anything, as they're gonna make up the body of your stew. Uh, same thing with the carrots, get the tops off. You're gonna wanna peel your carrots first using the same peeler and then uh, slice those up as well. And you can go ahead and put those in the same prep bowl as your, as your potatoes, because they're all gonna go in together. Once you're done with your carrots, uh, do the same thing in your celery stalks, just like we did last week. Uh, get those sliced up and diced and throw those into that same big prep bowl. Our last bit is our onions. I did not dice the onions on camera, but you get the idea. So go ahead and put all of your vegetables into our crock pot and let's move on to our sauce. So I actually used about two tablespoons of the tomato sauce for this, uh, the minced garlic, and then the paprika. And this is gonna create kind of like a homemade barbecue style sauce. It's gonna have the same kind of aroma as that. Uh, so you could utilize this for other recipes where you need kind of makeshift barbecue sauce. And we're gonna actually set that aside. We're not gonna be using that immediately. Another prep step, we're gonna get, we're gonna get a plastic bag. I had to utilize two because I only have smalls. I don't have any larges. Uh, you're gonna put your half teaspoon of salt and pepper in each bag and then you're gonna split it up and put two tablespoons of flour in each bag or four tablespoons in one big bag if you have a big bag. Now we're on to our meat. So we're gonna wanna get this trimmed as much as possible. You're gonna end up cutting this up into one inch uh, cubes and you're gonna want most of that large, those large rivers of fat kinda out of there. It's okay to have a little bit, that's gonna be what cooks it up and gives it flavor, but you wanna get those big chunks of uh, fat off of the meat as best you can. Once you do that, go ahead and start dicing those up into those one inch cubes we talked about. And then you're gonna take each of the one inch cubes, kinda split them up, put them inside one of the bags and shake them up, get them nice and coated with, the, uh, with our flour, salt, and pepper mix. Moving on over to our frying pan, as you can see, we've got about a tablespoon of vegetable oil that we've heated up, and then start putting in your beef. Now, you're not gonna wanna cook them all the way through. We actually just kinda wanna brown each of them on each side, just a little bit. Get those in the bowl. Even while they're still hot, you can go ahead and dump those in on the crock pot. We're gonna add that sauce that we made earlier. And then of course, our last ingredient are 12 ounces of lager beer. I couldn't find a beer from Wyoming, so I did third shift because uh, you know, it was a lager beer and I could buy an individual bottle. Two bay leaves, put it on there and cook it for about eight to 10 hours on low. And you're gonna have yourself the closest we can get to a milk can uh, stew. So here we are with our beer and beef uh, crock pot stew. Uh, the best we can do to make a facsimile of the uh, milk can stew that we talked about earlier uh, on, a very kind of Wyoming style dish. It is very hot, I literally just got it out of the crock pot, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste test now, and get some beef, some potatoes, definitely some broth and some carrots on there. Let's try this out. Well, thankfully everything's cooked, uh, though a little hot. Um, honestly, you could do with more seasoning. The sauce that we made with the minced garlic, the Worcestershire, and the tomatoes paste, uh, you could definitely probably put more of that in there, maybe even double the total quantity, just to give it more flavoring. There's just not, not a lot of flavor set in there yet with this recipe. It is hearty, like it'll fill you up. It'll be a good, nice uh, amount of calories for a cowboy to get through their day, but overall, not a, not a very flavorful dish. Uh, but I am going to wrap it up to maybe add a little seasoning post cooking and give it a shot. I've got my whiskey like I normally do. And we're going to transition to most likely daytime behind me and talk about what we're doing uh, next week. And sure enough, it's daylight outside. So that'll wrap us up for this episode of 50 States 50 Dishes with the state of Wyoming. 
Stay tuned to our trivia question of the week to figure out what state we're going to next week on 50 States, 50 Dishes.